Now from News Channel 8, this is Good Morning Washington. Well, do you ever think that your teeth could be making you look older? Coming up next, we've got Dr. Pinsky in the house telling us everything we can do right in our own homes to improve our smile and have some added bonuses. We're talking with him live next. Well, 8.34 now, and who doesn't want a Hollywood smile? One doctor is trying to make those dreams come true. Dr. David Pinsky from State of the Art Dental is here to fill us in on how you can look years younger by simply taking care of your teeth, both at home and the dentist's office. Thanks for coming in this morning and sharing all your, your uh, little fun facts with us because I think white teeth is something everyone wants. So where do we start? Well, we're talking about a dental facelift here. People take care of their hair and their nails and their toes and they <laughs> use Botox to stay younger. But your teeth say a lot about you and if your teeth don't look good, it makes you look years older. With, all, with the craze now with coffee, mm -hmm. where your, your teeth look darker, mm -hmm. you're grinding or clenching your teeth due to stress, you're breaking them down, you look older. Spaces in your teeth because you're not flossing, you look older. And I've got some ideas that you can use at home to make you look younger. And I wanna talk specifically about flossing because you say that flossing can actually make your face look younger. That's correct. How? If, if you're flossing, you're able to maintain your gums and you're not getting gum recession. If you're not flossing properly, you're going to have gum recession. You're going to look what's called long in a tooth, where you may see some people where they have big spaces between their teeth and their teeth look longer. Okay, and well, you've got a cool gadget here today just for flossing. That's what correct. What is that? Tell us about it. This is called an air flosser. And people that don't floss so well, this air flosser will shoot air between your teeth you can put a mouthwash in the reservoir and you can, sh you can it's air that shoots in between each and every tooth. Okay. And, and this works great. <laughs> it works. Uh, ab abso absolutely. So. You, you oh, usually I get a heads up. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, and so then broccoli, what is the broccoli good for? I okay. would think when you are trying to have a pretty smell, you would not want broccoli because it always gets stuck in your teeth. That's correct. Broccoli, you know, in this day and age, everybody's trying to be healthy. We're eating broccoli. Mm -hmm. We're eating quinoa. We're eating spinach. What does a baby, baby boom generation do it after dinner, including myself? The first thing we do we look in the mirror to see what's stuck in our teeth. That's true. That is true. Right. So same thing with like strawberry seeds. That's the first thing I do after I eat strawberries. That's correct. <laughs> so the proper flossing can help with that. And this air flosser, if you're not taking, I won't shoot you again, <laughs> but the, if you're not taking care of yourself properly, uh, you're going to have gum recession. Okay, so let's talk about um, whitening. Everybody wants, you know, the bright white smiles and you've got the white strips and you've got all these at home things that you can use. How can we do it safely and is that a better route to go than say coming in and seeing you for a professional whitening treatment? Okay. The very first thing you need to know is that a lot of patients complain that they've tried whitener and it makes their gums hurt, their teeth hurt. Yes. There's a spe there's special toothpaste that you should be using for one to two weeks before you even start the whitener. And that's to toughen up the gums? That's correct. It, okay. it, it, it gets rid of the sensitivity in the teeth themselves. Okay. And some of the store-bought whiteners are okay, but it gets rid of surface stains and the, the whitening gel really doesn't stay on the teeth so well, so people get frustrated with right. it. Right. What I have here, which you can get at the dentist, it's pre-made trays with the whitening gel in it. You, okay. put the, you put the tray on, you take it off after 30 seconds, and the whitening gel will stay perfectly on your teeth. And in two weeks, you're going to have a great smile. Oh, so these are disposable trays. There's Dispo like a one-time-use a one -time use thing. One-time use. Okay. And the main thing you need to know, if you're going to drink red wine or tea or coffee like we have, you're going to defeat the purpose. So maybe use a straw sometimes to help keep that whiter. Okay. All right. Really great advice. And give me your website one more time for folks if they want to get more information or find out more about you. It's www.stateoftheartdentalgroup.com. All right. Great advice. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. 838 is your time now.